Hi everyone, it's Ian back with you with a new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to read deleted messages from WhatsApp. It's very easy, all you need to do is stick till the end of the video and I will show you what the necessary steps are in order to achieve this. Alright guys, we're gonna start diving into the tutorial. All you need to do at first is go to the Play Store and search for an application called Unseen Messenger. Now this application link is also in the description, so don't worry about that. And uh, just open the link in the description box and it will take you straight to the Play Store. And if you don't wanna do that, just type in Unseen Messenger here and you will be shown with the application. Now the application is totally recognized by the Play Store, so it doesn't contain any viruses or anything, so don't worry about that. Just press on install and wait for the application to be downloaded. And after it's downloaded, you need to open it and I'll show you what to do. So as you can see, the app downloaded very fast since the size is very small, so it shouldn't take that much. After the application finishes installing, I'm going to open it and I will show you what you need to do. So if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell since we're already turning the notification bell in the application as well. Once you turn this on, the application will be able to control your notifications that come through your WhatsApp and by that it will save the messages that get received to you and once it does that, you will be able to see the removed messages. So make sure to press on select apps and after that, you will be shown with a list as you can see choose whatsapp now this application works for other applications as well like messenger or instagram but i have videos made for those two apps as well so don't forget to watch those videos in case you're wondering how to do them so after you select whatsapp you will be shown with that and now i'm going to prove it to you guys and show you how those messages that are deleted can be read using this app so I'm going to go and grab my other phone and I'm going to send my Android phone a message here as you can see in front of you. If you guys are enjoying it, just make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. So as you can see, I sent myself a message and as you can see in front of you, I will see the notification. Now what I'm going to do is go and delete the message and prove to you guys that the message is completely removed. And after it's removed, I will show you how you can be able to see it. So as you can see, it says the message has been removed. Now, if you now go to the application, you will see that the message is removed. But if you now open Unseen Messenger, you will be able to completely see that message. So I'm just going to go and open Unseen Messenger. And then you will see that bar with the chat. And after you open it, you will see that deleted message. Now I'm going to show you another deleted message just to further clarify how it works I'm going to send myself another message um, and I'm going to send it and then I'm going to delete it from my iPhone and after it's deleted I'm going to open the application again so press on delete delete for everyone and if I open whatsapp now the message will not be read or will be seen as you can see it says the message has been removed but if we go and open unseen messenger you will be able to completely see that message that's been deleted now this application is very easy to use it's very handy if you want to read messages that people decide to delete and as you can see you, your message is shown right in front of you and you can also delete the conversation from here in case you're wondering if you can do that or not so that's it for today's video, don't forget to turn on the notification bell inside the notification access. It should be the first thing that asks you once you open the app. Make sure to just turn that on, otherwise it will not work. So that's it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the video and don't forget to watch the other videos about Facebook if you're wondering how to do that.